Welcome back to what my wife calls Tiny World. And I finished this violin in the last video. And now we've got to shellac it. So I bought some shellac flakes online. Real dark. Can you see them? And all we have to do is mix them with this alcohol. And we're going to make what's called a two pound cut which amounts to one ounce by weight of shellac flakes in this jar. And then uh, half a cup of denatured alcohol. You can use grain alcohol if you don't like this stuff. Pour it in. And that's all there is to it. Now we shake our jar every 20 minutes and wait a half a day or so until it's done. What I want to say is I'm back in the shop again. But really... I'm on top of the shop. So I'm planning on making a gothic arch building, 16 by 20. And I'm outside today scribing my arc lines on the deck here. And I'll give you an idea of how I'm starting off. Even though this building is going to be 16 feet wide, to get the height I want, I'm using a radius point, actually two feet off, so it's an 18 foot radius. And I use my long tape here to scribe an arc. And I tried two different ones. I tried a 17 foot radius and an 18 foot radius. And this gives me um, the right length to most efficiently use my metal roofing. And it gives me an arch that this wood can handle. So here is, is an experiment. I've got a ratchet strap on this piece of 1x4 to see how far I can bend it. My next step will be to make a jig to bend these pieces and start making my arch. I'm back up at the land today for two reasons. One is to show you my progress on my gothic arch and I'm going to spray some shellac on the old fiddle I started building. I hope I can hold this good enough so you can see what the arch is going to look like. So what I've got going on here is a couple of these furrin strips which up in New England we call it strapping. It's one by four. And we made a jig, clamped the boards to the jig to get my arc, added in the little blocks, and it's a completed gothic arch truss. So now I'm gonna head up there that little tent building, it's all I've got to work in. My wife won't let me spray shellac in the camper. So I'm going to hang the fiddle up, fill up my little touch-up gun with shellac, and go to town. I have my little storage building set up now. I've got the violin hanging over here just over my shoulder by a little piece of wire. And you can see my touch-up gun hanging up. Got the shellac all mixed up, ready to go. I'm gonna strain it through here. And this is a little crude and rough and ready, but we're gonna go for it and I'm gonna get a coat of shellac on this fiddle here. I ran a little alcohol through the gun and checked my spray pattern. I haven't ever shot this homemade shellac before. Just gonna fill up the gun third of the way. I'll never even use that much. But it's going to harden on the filter. 
whoop, and pour all over the ground. So there we go. The gun's loaded. Kind of a nice color. Looks like it's going to be a rich gold color. I look forward to seeing how it comes out. Pretty excited. All right. I know the lighting's bad, but it's all I got. So I'm going to start with all the hard to reach places first. It's kind of like painting a car. I think I said that once before. So go around and get all my edges. Do my sea bout. Make sure it gets in the edge of the plate. looks great already I don't know you probably can't see but we'll bring it out in the Sun and show you sharp I don't know that I'll ever go back to uh, shellac I mean uh, varnish here's the top Probably see it a little bit. <laughs> I know this is crazy. <laughs> it is just too cold out there. The shellac is looking really nice and it makes a great air freshener for the truck. So I gotta wait a little while for my second coat of shellac to harden up and then I got a couple little places I'm going to touch it up and then I'll be putting her back together and seeing what she sounds like. Here is my stack of completed trusses, pardon the shaky camera. Here's my work site where we're working on the last two trusses. There, now you can see a close-up of my work site. We struck an arc with a pencil and a tape measure. And then I glued in these blocks. So I can bend the 1x4 around. And then these little 6-inch blocks will get glued in place next. What I've done is right on the deck here I have a little arrow and I've marked out where each of these blocks goes. I got two little spacer blocks pick them up an inch off the deck some liquid nails and two two inch deck screws for each one and that's it, we move along. Alright, so now we lay the inside one and start to pull it in with clamps starting only at one end. Now, see my crude joint there? I decided I would only work with what I had whatever that was and I'm not familiar with what's available in Tennessee they call these fur and strips one by four southern yellow pine and it's a little brittle I was happy for the rain to soften them up and I just we use what we had here in hindsight I would go with a plywood joint I would locate the joint somewhere else the only thing I could buy were 14 foot pieces of one by four. There! We got all the trusses up. Looks like we'll have a lot of room. Pan around. Those are my two beautiful helpers. There we go. Now we'll level it off and start to figure out how we're gonna get the roof on.
So I've run out of building time for now. Tomorrow is Christmas Eve and we're going to start traveling to see family. Take a look at how far we got. We started putting the metal on the roof. I have everything buttoned up for now to leave. We're expecting some rain and snow. We got four sheets of steel on either side, just my wife and I. I'm going to need a hand for the top. This is what it looks like. I decided not to put foam or anything underneath the steel because it would compress as I use the screws and that white foam can absorb water so we're going to stay away from that. Plastic would cause condensation. I think it's going to ventilate good enough. I've got quite a bit of airflow, and there'll be a ridge cap. This is all I have for stiffening right now. I've got a diagonal going up. Um, I've got a horizontal piece running this way to stiffen up the sides. I'm going to add another one up here where I still have a temporary brace. But all in all, I'm happy with the building so far. I hope you're still curious about the farewell fiddle. I got her all done. Uh, the shellac is beautiful. Man, I wish the sun was out. So you could see the sunlight dance on the top of this fiddle. But it's real pretty. I don't know if you can see any of it. The beauty in it. I want to remind you that it is a locust wood back and sides. And it was a sketchy way to finish an instrument. Harbor Freight tool in a storage tent. Locust wood neck and scroll, which was tricky to carve. Someone's revving up their motor up there. Here goes nothing. I do.